Hello everyone, KGRDIY here. In today's video, I have a very serious problem. I have a major transmission pan leak. Let me explain what happened. About a year ago, I had dropped the transmission pan to replace the oil myself. I bought the oil and I also got a new gasket for the pan. This was bought at a local auto parts store. Everything was fine until a few weeks ago that I noticed a leak coming from the pan. The gasket did not hold up. So this time I decided not to do the repair myself. I took it to my mechanic and I bought the new transmission fluid and a new gasket. Again, I bought this from a local auto parts store. The mechanic replaced the gasket and added the new oil. When I went to pick up the car, he did advise me that the gasket was too flimsy and that he did everything he could, but I still had the minor leak. He recommended that I buy the original gasket from the dealership and take it back so he could replace it. And that made sense because the aftermarket gasket was thinner and felt like cheap rubber. And to be honest, the original gasket, I, even though it was 15 years old, you can tell it was very well made. Anyways, I told the mechanic I would come back when I got the new gasket. However, when I arrived home, that minor leak wasn't that minor at all. It was way worse than when I took it to the mechanic. Anyways, I was lucky I didn't blow my transmission. So at that point, I don't know how much oil I've lost. So I don't want to drive it back to the mechanic. So I'm stuck doing the job again. So this transmission is supposed to hold a little over six quarts, something around there. After dropping the pan, this was down to less than five. So I lost over one quart in about a 15 minute drive home. Not sure if you see something wrong here with the pan, but it's missing the magnet that is used to grab the metal shavings. I guess my mechanic forgot to put it back. Maybe he thought I was better off without it. I don't know, but I'm glad I caught it right now. So I have to get a magnet now. The mechanic tried to help seal the flimsy gasket by adding some liquid gasket sealer to it as well, but we all know that didn't work. Again, I don't blame the mechanic. He tried all that he could to do the job right. Because the mechanic forgot to add the magnet to the pan, this reassured me and made me glad that I was doing the job myself to make sure it was done right. So I ordered the new original gasket and I even bought a brand new pan that came with the magnet. The reason is because I couldn't find the magnet by itself, so I had no choice. You can see that the gasket looks sturdy as well. Then again, it's the original GM gasket. It won't easily bend like the other flimsy ones I have bought. I left the already replaced transmission filter the way it is. I don't even want to bother taking that one off. That one looks to be put on properly. If it isn't broke, why fix it? So now I put on the brand new pan, make sure all holes align perfectly. Then it's time to get my torque wrench out just to make sure I don't over tighten my bolts and end up busting the gasket again. Always follow the torque specifications again to make sure not to over tighten. Then I just start to tighten the bolts with the torque wrench. Then I locate and remove the transmission fill cap. Get my handy oil funnel cleaned out to make sure it's got no debris. Since this car doesn't have a dipstick, I fill it with transmission fluid until it starts to pour out of this hole right above the pan. The car needs to be warm and in level ground. Once it stops pouring from the hole, that means it's leveled. I'm done then. Just plug it and that's it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It would help out the channel tremendously. I will keep putting more of these videos out. Thank you all. Have a great rest of your day.